people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se wa e do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I did on May 2nd, 2020. So I am speaking about three weeks ago and it pertains to a Morant Bay, Morant Bay St. Thomas businessman and his name is Arjan Bellani and he was 55 at the time when he was slapped away by some G-U-N-M-E-N -E that entered his establishment, masked up and basically took him out. So anyways, here's a sample of that video just to refresh your memory. And people, remember that this is YouTube, so therefore I cannot just upload any and everything if it goes against their policy. Now, when I first did that video three weeks ago, I said that this man we are speaking about the businessman. He was a part of a conspiracy of a thief in ring. He was basically operating this so-called legitimate business as a part of a fencing for some thiefing things that were being stolen. We are speaking about from St. Thomas and the adjoining communities. And what is even more disturbing and jaw-dropping about this whole conspiracy of thievery, we are speaking about it also includes some top-ranking member of the Popo Force, and I am speaking specifically Assistant Popo Commissioner. We are speaking about a person whose name is Gary Griffiths. Now, people, like I said, this is a ring of thievery. This is a ring that included some legitimate business that are acting like friends. This is a ring that also includes, we are speaking about all sorts of tea from St. Thomas. We are talking about them tea people thing, and they would bring it to these establishment, these so-called legitimate business, and they would basically sell it to them. However, it seems like this operation was also masterminded by this top popo or several popo included but not limited to this purple may I talk about Mr. Gary Griffith. Now, like I said before, three weeks ago in my previous video, it seems like the Popo saw that the walls are caving in. It seems like the Popo was getting information that this businessman, we are talking about Arjan Bellani, he was talking or he was communicating with law enforcement about exactly what is going on. So therefore, he was slapped away so that he could remain silent. And people, in the latest update, we saw that one of the teeth, one of the main teeth that were also a part of this conspiracy he was also slapped away because he was supposed to be a key witness on people like me say this is coming from credible source me have the video me have the picture of them so therefore this is not no sort of bs thing so my point is this like i said the walls are closing in and I am sure that whoever is a part of the legitimate Popo force, they have some sort of idea or maybe they are trying to sweep it under the rug because people, we know say Popo are always taken up for Popo even when they are D-E-A-D -E wrong. And like I've always said, desperate times calls for a desperate measure. So people, it seems like they realize, we're speaking about the masterminds, they realize that persons are talking, they realize that the popo is gathering information, and they realize that these persons might be witness in their own case, in their own mastermind conspiracy. So therefore, they are taking them out. And the latest person to be taken out is this person that I am showing in the picture. And like I said before, this is a case that is unfolding. However, you know, as it pertains to these popo, especially when any type of top ranking popo is involved, they always try to sweep it under the rug. They always try to cover up for each other. So, people, at the end of the day, the moral of the story is this it seems like these businessmen, it seems like these popo, it seems like these teeth, they are one of the same. They are the same sort of people we are talking about three peas in our pod point blank and period you can't trust nobody point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section
Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word. Don't put any space between the words. And also, I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We're speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon. And also, press all in the option. Now, people, you know that as it pertains to Jamaica, we have the two foot puss, we have the two foot hyena, we have the thief that don't like to see thief with long bag, we are talking about the politician, and we also have the goat thief. So, people, in this video, you are going to see some goat thieves in action. So, people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Meet your goat thieves. Let's call the fat man goat thief number one. His accomplice, Tall man, or go thief number two. The third man, go thief number three, is the driver, and only his hand is seen closing the front door of the car left open by a fat man, go thief number one. The story goes like this. At approximately 1.20 p.m. on Wednesday, May 20, this silver Toyota motor car is seen traveling in an upper St. Andrew community. All appears normal. However, in about four minutes' time, the said tinted vehicle is returning, only this time with a plan. Fat Man, Go Thief 1, along with Tall Man, Go Thief 2, alight from the vehicle. Both grown men. First, the Fat Man eases the trunk. And then, Go Thief 2 sets about to snatch the first two goats grazing on a fenced property. They reel in the goats by their ropes and dump the frightened animals in the trunk of the car. They are not finished yet. Goat Thief 2 is off again to repeat their action. Two more goats for the butcher's knife and perhaps for your dinner table. And quickly they're off with their stolen goods valued at over $80,000 but not before they're frozen in time and their action for the world to see over and over again. The incident was reported to the police while seeking your assistance to bring the Prady larcenists, or goat thieves if you may, to justice. Michael Sharp, Frontline News. Now people, based on this video, you see so these people, them bare face, them not have no conscience. Just imagine a poor farmer get up every day, him tie out him goat, him feed him goat, him get up and put in the hard work and dedication, and then after that, some thiefing man in a silver car, them come and reap the benefit, them come and get all the profit. So basically they did not sow anything, however them want to reap. So them just pull up and shock and all the gold, throw them in the trunk and then drive off and basically reap the benefit. We are talking about easy like one, two, three. However, what they did not realize was that they were on candid camera. We are talking about CCTV. We are talking about the car. We are talking about the people them face. Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blank. Now people, just imagine these farmers get up every day, till the soil, tie out them goat, feed them goat, go through all manner of evil, we are talking about hard work, and then bam, just like that, them goat gone. I am speaking about not one, not two, but three goat just gone in the blinking of an eye. People, just like that, easy like one, two, three. So the moral of the story is this, just imagine how the farmers feel, just imagine when them wake up and go out there and see them goat gone, all of them, not one, not two, but three, everything, everybody gone, and these people are celebrating, these people are drinking white rum and all sort of stuff and celebrating things that they did not work for. People, it is unfair. We need to bring these persons to justice. We are talking about fling them in our pen. We are talking about fling them in the big yard, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.